Hey guys, Biggie here and welcome to another Skyrim Special Edition Wabajack mod. Let's quick look. This time we have Empyrean by Alabast. So we're going to be spending some time checking this mod list out, seeing who it's for, who it isn't for. Starting as always with the character customization. Now these eyes default to the really creepy ones. Um, not all the eyes in the game are like that. Uh, where are the eyes here? So... Okay, maybe a lot of them are creepy, but trust me, there's some human eyes here as well. So you will have some added character customization options eyes there. You have plenty of hairstyles to choose from, including a blurry hairstyle. I don't know why that's blurry. Um, oh, it's even some kawaii hair. Tons of beard styles. Uh, you have beards of power. Oh, man. I mean, what what more could you ask for, really? Let's say let's save this preset. I don't know how to spell kawaii. I'm gonna g guess it's something like that. Let's take a look at uh, so Ar Argonians. This is actually a request I made. Uh, beast races are gonna be pretty basic for uh, character customization, but that is something that is in the works. You might get some added beard options if you're an Argonian. Uh, but you'll have plenty over 1300 even have Serana hair. That's really creepy. Did I go with the Did I go with the this preset? I think I should, guys. I think it's on, only natural <laughs> natural natural that I choose that style. So here we are in the realm of Lorcan, just like pretty much every other mod list that's hosted in the uh, uh, in Forgotten Glories Discord. They all like this uh, alternate start, but it's uh, honestly a lot like alternate start, live another life. You just have to pick one of these shards, but you can get uh, started with a, a standing stone if you want. There's not a whole lot of starting gear in this version. But you can take a few things here and there. You get like a warrior stone, mage stone. Grab that. Shore stone, grab a shore stone. All right, let's go to shore stone. So this is a special edition mod list, not anniversary edition. For those of you that don't have anniversary edition, whether or not you have anniversary edition, you can play this mod list, but it won't have any of the uh, non-free anniversary edition content added. It is a s smaller list at 108 gigabytes for the install alone. Isn't it crazy that that's considered a small list? Um, it does have 785 plugins, 199 of which are ESPs slash ESMs. Oh my god, our character though. Beautiful. Imagine this guy's just out in the wilderness punching me to death. And we have physics. Hawaii! <laughs> our, our, guy, our guy's like rocking out too. Look at that. Yeah, they don't they don't want to mess with it. Um, oh, one thing I did forget. You do have to run the MCM recorder. So let's do that real quick. That, gotta click that. Now, I did notice that there are some UI issues that are being worked on to fix. So what this is, is a survival power fantasy look. My delicates? Give me your armor. I'm the real shorestone guard now. All right. Beautiful. Hello, fellow guard. I'm really cold. Like I said, there's a few weird UI things that you might notice, but those are being worked on. Apparently, it's an issue with uh, this, the whatever resolution I'm playing. I'm at uh, it was a 2560 by 1440p. So if you're on the same ratio as that, 
You might have to tweak some stuff to uh, clear up the UI. Let's get into some combat. Okay, that fugitive's a ghost, and I'm dying. And I'm already dead. All right. That was just a warm up, guys. That was just a warm up. I haven't made a Skyrim video in like forever. Gotta give me some slack. I thought I was resistant to cold. Oh, I'm not resistant to arrows in the face. All right, this. Bro, are you serious to me right now? Are you serious to me right now? What am I supposed to do though? What am I supposed to do? All right, let me at least, uh... Why is he ethereal? I don't get it. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. What is going on? Am I really gonna have to go into testing purposes mode this early on? Why is there a fort right here? It's like right next to Shore Stone. Has this always been here? I'm supposed to be a Nord. Where's my where's my cold resist? Do I have any potions? No. These lawless bandits, I swear. They just think they're so cool turning into ghosts. How did you follow me already? What is what is this? And their aim is insane. Look at that. They even dodge the arrows. Or right, you know what? Eat that blue mountain flower. But anyway, guys, yeah, this is an anti rim list, so you will have ordinator for perks. I swear. What difficulty am I on? It's gonna embarrass me. This is gonna be like novice watch. It's still running the configuration. I'm an adept. I can dodge? I forgot that I can dodge if I'm being honest. All right, we got it. We got it this time. Now that I know that I can dodge. All right, we dodge. We hit him. We hit him. We, we hit him. We hit him. Okay, we hit him. We drink to our youth for days come and gone. The age of aggression is just about done. Okay, the age of aggression isn't done yet, guys. All right, let me, let, let me. <clears throat> oh my God, why are they suddenly so much easier? That's crazy. What? Guys, am I washed? I was not prepared to take out this uh, fort, to be honest. Like, do you see my hair st style? Like. And look, they they broke my weapon too. I'll talk about survival elements in a second. Oh my god, that was so easy. They all died. How about that? So anyway, yeah, you have ordinator for perks as you see here. So tons of uh, perks to choose from. We saw winter sun fates earlier. Um, you do have a lot of spells, so. This has some of the biggest variety. I mean, I don't know, like, off the bat, which mod list has the most spell variety. But this one is up there. Because you do have um, Apocalypse for spells, but you also have most, if not all, of Dereni spells as well. So you're going to have an insane amount of spells to choose from. Uh, you do have Arena for Encounter Zones, Lawless, which I mentioned earlier, Heritage 2, with, that also tweaks some enemies. As well as hand placed enemies that's the name of the mod it adds some additional enemies as well and then dragon war and undying undead where uh basically draugr skeletons and stuff like that can pop back up to life unless you kill them with fire 
or to kill him with fire. Um, with survival stuff, as you saw, my sword broke, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's it's donezo. We need to use this dagger. Um, you do also have a getting wounded system, as well as things like frostfall, campfire, or additional survival needs. Is my dagger also broken? Oh, I guess it is. It's fine. We can. This is why Punch Cat is the best build. You don't have to worry about your weapons breaking. You can just punch everything. New evolution to Punch Cat Punch Kawaii Nord. Uh, Wildcat combat does make combat more deadly on both sides. As you saw, we were getting one shotted. That was very fun. Uh, you do also have tons of new weapons and armor to choose from. So. Immersive Armors, uh, a classic mod, is uh, in here. Then a bunch of other smaller mods like Colovian Leather Armor, uh, Wayfarer's Coat, Dawnguard Arsenal Practical Pirate Outfit, by uh, Zim's Immersive Artifacts, Oaks of Skyrim, and Left-Handed Rings. So Left-Handed Rings playing well into that whole Power Fantasy style. You can get yourself some Left-Handed Rings and just go wild on the enchantments. No, we're just going to punch all the wolves to death. Why not? Let's go over to some uh, towns. What I do like a lot about this mod list is it's not cluttered too much with a bunch of new uh, quests. So you do have a lot of vanilla quest improvements. So the main quest starts with at, at your own pace. So make sure to... Uh, uh, check that mod page out if you're confused on how to start the main page. Essentially, you just uh, talk to the people at uh, at the Jarl's Palace in Whiterun. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. I think this comes from, uh, yeah, what, JK's Whiterun outskirts. So most of JK's mods are in this list. And those cover the bulk of the city overhauls. Also, do have Obscure's College of Winterhold and Dawn of Skyrim. Those are the only two other major location overhauls that are in this list. But yeah, uh, you do have uh, the choice is yours as well to kind of stop quest spam. Uh, perks from questing, so it adds new abilities that you get based on certain quests that you might complete. Um, you do also have J Serpa's quest mods as well as the missives. Headhunter and uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn. So it's pretty interesting. It has Legacy of the Dragonborn, but doesn't doesn't really have any other uh, new DLC size quest mods. So some people might like that. If you like Legacy of the Dragonborn, they don't like other mods, other quest mods. Might be your thing. And I feel weird with this helmet. You take that off. There we go. The white run looking pretty good. Just fast travel to the interior of it. Why not? Um, a lot of new added NPCs, including followers. So you do have populated Skyrim, and I don't, I haven't seen that mod in forever. It used to be my favorite mod for uh, adding new NPCs. I think it's underrated. Because I'd rather have a bunch of generic NPCs with generic dialogue than have really badly voice acted NPCs. Yes. I don't know about you guys. Guys from Dawn of Skyrim. Are this guy's from Dawn of Skyrim too? What, can I what are you doing with your feet? We'll have none of that. What can I do for you? Ah! I'm caught on the rag. Yes. All right. Make our way through here. The so NPCs are going to be overhauled. You see some classics like Bijan. For those of you that like supermodel NPCs, not all the NPCs are going to be supermodel though. Huh? But you can tell when they're from populated Skyrim. Over to Winterhold. 
Hey, let me see us either. I'm not trying to uh, freeze. Uh, besides pop populated Skyrim, though, you do have Lucian, Inigo, Gore, Kaiden 2, Katana, and Ori, as well as Serana Dialogue add on. For those of you weirdos that like that mod. I recently did a playthrough. We had Serana as a companion for most of the playthrough, and we had Serana dialogue add on. I will say it's not my thing, but some people uh, love it. I don't know why there's some uh, these trees added by JK Skyrim. I feel like these trees don't fit Winter Hold. Feel a little bit too green. Have some nice additions there. Let's go over to Solitude. So who this mod list is for and who it isn't for, well certainly, if you are looking for a power fantasy list, and I will say it's pretty performance friendly. I mean, it seems that way at least. I haven't, I mean, I'm on a 3080 Ti, so it's kind of hard for me to judge what counts really as performance friendly, but I would imagine a mid-tier PC would be able to handle this list just fine. Uh, if those of you have who have tried this list, if you have uh, mid-tier PCs, feel free to uh, share your specs down below. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Rika. But I would imagine, based on uh, you know the textures not being necessarily the highest quality, the ENB not being too heavy, and the city add-ons not being excessive, that maybe White Run, you'd probably. Uh, be getting okay performance um and it so if you like that aspect you like anirim and you want anirim with survival but you don't want to stray too far away from vanilla in terms of uh new quests or new animations or anything like that then this mod list might be for you now if you're looking for the most difficult mod list there is you know it is anirim so there's tons of combos that you can do for Winter Sun and Andromeda and things like that to make a quite OP character regardless of survival mode and any NPC buffs. So it won't be the most difficult list, even though I got uh, my cheeks clapped at level one by those bandits. You know, with some prep work, the right uh, combos of of deities and standing zones, it would have probably gone a lot better. Um, but still, you should be able to have some fun with this list if you're an Ordinator fan. Uh, it's not going to be for you, though, if you're looking for a brand new uh, third-person animations, things like that. I haven't really uh, taken a look here at the MCM. Um, really, the main things to worry about is, you know, you have your true direction movement for your target lock key. Um, dodging is should be... I believe it's from the ultimate dodge mod. I don't think it's dodge framework or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, you do also have a dual wield block. So that that there. So you can play a spell sword. Again, tons of spell mods. Um, those are the really main things to worry about here. You have quick light as well. Be cool. Uh, spell tutor. You might want to tweak some of these settings. When I was doing my live stream for it, which I will uh, link that down below for those of you that uh, haven't seen it. Um, it. It is tough to learn new spells. It is pretty tough to learn new spells in this list. So keep that in mind. But yeah. Hopefully this video gave you guys a feel for this list. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, if you haven't done so already, make sure to follow me on Kick, where I have been streaming. I do have a lot more flexibility of what I can and can't stream on there. So kick.com slash biggie underscore boss. Make sure to drop a follow. It's a, a better experience for you guys. You don't have any ads to worry uh, about or anything like that. So I highly encourage it. Anyway, let me know if this mod list works out for you guys. And I do have another quick look planned in the near future. Maybe a few quick looks because there have been some sneaky little modless dropping by here and there uh other than that i 
Hope this video once again was helpful and I will catch you guys next time.